You already know that in life you are playing a game. That's the game of money. And in order to be successful at any game, you have to understand the rules. This is rule number two of a three-part series called The Rules of Banking. My name is Darius. And I'm Carmen. For the, for the best infinite banking and financial advice, subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to be notified of new videos. Paying yourself first is an amazing rule of thumb to adopt. However, it's not enough. So in this video, we will talk about rule number two, which is another component that you need to add into your lifestyle to increase your financial health. Rule number two is to pay yourself interest. And here's why it's so important. It's because we finance every single thing that we do. And we finance things into two different categories. That's either we pay cash or we finance it by paying interest to someone else. And when we pay cash, a lot of times people don't even realize that we're financing a purchase. Mm -hmm. But the fact of the matter is you are financing a purchase because you have to save up the money to pay the cash in the first place. Mm -hmm. So you are self-financing an item as opposed to going to debt for it through a financial institution. Right, and when we finance things through a credit card, we're actually kind of paying like a convenience fee because we have the access to someone else's funds, but we have to give them their funds back, principal and interest. Mm -hmm. So in this video, when we talk about pay yourself interest, it's all about treating yourself the exact same way you would a bank. Mm -hmm. Because again, you're either going to lose your ability to earn interest by paying cash for items, or you're going to pay interest to someone else. Mm -hmm. So if you paid interest to someone else, why not make that someone else yourself so that you can collect principal and interest on an annual basis because you're gonna do this already. Right, and here's exactly how you do it. You remember in the first video of this series where we talked about paying yourself first and putting your money into a vehicle where you earned a guaranteed interest? Well, we're gonna use this vehicle, which is a whole life insurance policy, in the place of borrowing from the bank. Yes. By borrowing from your whole life insurance policy, you're gonna treat yourself exactly the same by financing what you're going to purchase with your whole life insurance policy and paying the money back principal and interest. Yes, and the whole point of us doing this is because again, when you finance things, you're going to swipe your credit card or you're gonna get a personal loan to do it in the first place. Right. So what we really wanna hit home in this video is making you understand that when you finance your lifestyle, you have to go to the bank and finance it or you're going to self-finance it through yourself and pay cash. Mm -hmm. So with either of those vehicles, all we're gonna do is replace both of those vehicles with using your whole life insurance policy so that you obtain the cash value growth inside the policy and use that money to finance your lifestyle. So that way you're still paying cash and you're financing an object because you're gonna pay yourself principal and interest back every single month or every single year like you would with the bank. And here's the benefit to doing this. The average American spends more in interest payments to the bank than they actually save. Yeah. So if you're able to take on the banking function using your whole life insurance policy, you're able to pay the interest back to yourself. Not only are you doing rule number one, which is to pay yourself first, you're also paying yourself interest that would otherwise be going away from you to the banks or the credit card company. An additional benefit in paying yourself interest is having the discipline to do so. Mm -hmm. Because when you pay yourself first and you pay yourself interest, that's even more money that you have access to that you can use to finance other means within your life. Mm -hmm. Now some of you watching this video may say, this is absurd, why would I pay myself interest? This doesn't make any sense. But if you stop and think about it, this month, you may be paying somebody principal and interest on an item that you financed. Mm -hmm. Why not replace that individual with yourself? so that not only you're paying yourself that principal, now you're paying the interest back and you can keep that money for yourself. Just think about it like this. Building wealth is a mindset and a habit. Yep. If you can't be disciplined enough to pay yourself back, then don't expect anyone else to. <laughs> I'll say that again so they hear it. I don't think you heard him. I don't think you heard him. <laughs> if, you, if you can't be disciplined enough to pay yourself back, then don't expect anyone else to. That was beautiful. <laughs> If you want to make more money, get better investments, and become wealthy, then it all starts with the way you treat your money. <laughs> Fire! <laughs> Comment below with pay yourself interest if you are ready to change your financial habits. If you haven't already, make sure you check out the video, Pay Yourself First, 
which is the first video of our three-part series of the rules of banking. You may be asking yourself, how does this all take place? So let me help paint the picture for you. Typically, when you need money, you swipe your credit card or you go to the bank and you get funding. In this instance, since you have a whole life insurance policy or will have a whole life insurance policy, instead of going to the bank to get financing, you're just gonna reach over to your whole life insurance policy and obtain the money that you would need. Now, if you went to the bank and got that financing, every single month you would be paying them principal and interest. Since you got the money from your policy, you're gonna treat the policy the same way and you're gonna pay yourself principal and interest back and pay that money back to your policy. Mm -hmm. So what happens in the end? You have all of the principal back plus the interest that you paid yourself for financing whatever it was in your lifestyle. The difference is if you would have gone to the bank, they would have all of your principal and all of your interest that you paid for that financed object. Now, since you've created your own banking system and you have the principal and interest back, now that allows you to have more money in your possession that you can use to finance other things. Mm -hmm. And you keep doing it over and over again. Now, the key takeaway here is the interest. This is something that we underestimate. Every single month we are paying interest to somebody else. If we can redirect that interest to ourselves, again, that just allows more and more money to grow inside of our policy, which is more money that we have access to on an annual basis. So this becomes a win-win situation, mm -hmm. but it really just depends on that discipline of you paying yourself first and paying yourself interest to grow your banking system significantly. And what are we doing? We're not investing, we are banking. We are replacing the banking functions in your life. Mm -hmm. So you go to the bank for funding, you're gonna turn to yourself and get funding and pay yourself back the principal and interest that you would have been doing already. We're replacing the bank in this instance. So now that you know how to pay yourself interest and the benefits of using infinite banking, we've created a free guide called 52 Ways to Own Your Own Lifestyle. You will literally learn 52 different ways of how to use your whole life insurance policy to finance every single thing that you do. Make sure you use the link below to get access to your free guide. And also, if you would like to join a like-minded community of high achievers just like you, then join our Patreon community where you can learn how to incorporate infinite banking in your lifestyle so that you can navigate this sometimes tricky space. Yes, and if you like this video, let us know by hitting the like button and subscribing to our channel. And make sure you share this video with a friend. And what do we do on the Wealth Nation channel? We own our own lifestyle. Or someone else will.